Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just about 10.30 in Honolulu, 4.30 in New York. It is Tuesday, June the 6th, 2017 and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. A nice strong upside surge in precious metals pricing with gold pretty much leading the way in terms of percentage gains on the day. Gold is currently trading up in excess of $13, $13.30, that's our current print, putting it up a full percentile at $12.96. That is correct, traders, $12.96. Now, interestingly enough, it has traded to a low today of approximately $12.82.10, but it is the high that I find most interesting coming in at $12.98.80. A dollar twenty shy of that elusive thirteen hundred dollar mark. We are certainly flirting with that. And as I say in my opening letter, depending on the outcome of this trifecta of events on Thursday, we could certainly see gold prices not flirt with thirteen hundred, but surge past thirteen hundred. More of that when we pull up our first technical study. Silver also tracking higher on the day, gaining about six tenths of a percent. At 17.69, it traded to low of 51 and a half, and the high today was 74.50. So we are still a few cents off of the high, but most interesting is that gold is leading the way in terms of percentage gains on this safe haven play. One other market that we do want to look at, and that's going to be the dollar index. Dollar index absolutely influenced uh, gold pricing today but it accounted for a modest portion of the gains, trading down about a quarter of a percent at 96.53. So without a question of a doubt, today's strong upside move are setting certain things into motion. And the primary thing that I believe it's setting into motion on a technical basis is the fact that we are now once again flirting with $1,300 per ounce. And we're doing that for only the second time this year. As I said in my opening letter, I believe that depending on the outcome of the events that occur on Thursday, we could see gold prices surge past 1300 into new uncharted territory at least for this year now in terms of today's move we had a dramatic move for example in the uh, cash market gold was trading up about 14 dollars and we talked about the fact that recent a uh, dollar weakness has certainly contributed to that but if we take a look at the kitco gold index for example and let me go ahead and drag that over into the screen i've just brought that up but if we take a look at the kitco gold index and look at the recent price advance cash gold closed at 93.50 but when we look at this net change of about $14.20 you can see that only about three dollars of it or a little bit over two tenths of a percent is directly due to a weak U.S. dollar and it is normal buying that's contributing to almost 90 percent of this most recent move. So traders, it is time to talk about protective stops. We are currently long our trade roughly at 1264. That's basis this August contract. And that's roughly right in this area. If you recall the, the actual history of this trade, we initially got in this market, what at about 12, 25 we got in roughly $15 off the low as this market went up of course we trailed our stops up along with them and then as we got close to expiration date because this was a um a June contract we rolled over our position into an August so we sold our June at 1260 that was right in here and then we bought simultaneously at 12.64 about a four dollar spread between those two contract months and this 12.64 contract we have been riding up our current stop is sitting at approximately 12.55 and i am now recommending that we trail our stops up a little bit higher in terms of the price point we're going to put our stops just below this low here which comes in roughly at 1280 so my recommendation is to move your stop from below 1255 to below 1280 accounting for this most recent low achieved in yesterday's trading traders in other markets that we look at u.s equities now have been challenged after closing at new all-time record highs on friday the last two days have seen the market trade roughly in this area but trading a little bit softer 
Dow Jones Industrial Average off about a quarter of a percent at 21,136. Standard & Poor's also trading lower by just under a three-tenths of a percent at 24.29. And the NASDAQ composite, a little bit above a third of a percent, or actually a third of a percent at 62.74. One of the major contributors uh, to this most recent price advance in gold has been a weaker U.S. dollar. The dollar has been losing value ever since hitting these highs back in the last quarter of 2016 all the way to, through 2017. Aside from a couple of small multi-week surges, the overall characteristic of the dollar has been lower pricing week in and week out. As you know, I am on record as stating that I believe that the next real level of support will come in roughly at 96. And what I want to look at is really a much bigger picture now that we are coming close to this particular price point if the market continues to fall, meaning the dollar, and it breaks below this 96 area, the next real area that you would want to look at is just above 94 at 94.28. That is a 38% retracement of this rather large move starting in 2014 at 78, going up to roughly 103 on the dollar index. Traders, one thing that I have been speaking about over the last couple of weeks was the importance of positioning oneself into a market prior to it making its move so that it, if in fact we do see an outcome that we believe uh, was highly probable, then we are properly positioned before the event takes place so that we can take advantage of that in terms of a profitable trade. I certainly feel as though we've hit that sweet spot on this particular trade. This being the second leg of the trade now, we're now at 1296. Realize that we started buying gold at what, 1225 after hitting a low at 1215. So we bought about $10 off the low. We carried that all the way up to about 64. We got out of our Junes, we got into an August, we pulled profits on that, but we still maintain proper positioning for any set of events that would occur. We certainly have seen that over the last couple of days. Lastly, over the last couple of days, I talked about the other step that we need to do, which is to protect profits once we achieve them. To that end, I will be sending out a special trade alert, either in tandem with this show or right before or immediately following the show with specific stop placements that we talked about during the show. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.